Hey guys. Alright, we're going to do a little bit of a bonsai video. If you guys still see the beer sitting here from the last video, it's because I haven't had another. It's just the same one. I'm just redoing the video. You probably tell by the same shirt. <laughs> it's not like I would finish off a whole six pack of blithering idiot or else I'd be just like everyone else out there shopping. Stumbling around like a blithering idiot. So, <clears throat> what we're going to talk about is this little guy right here. This guy is a, they call it a Eugenia myrtlefolia, or commonly known as brush cherry. This species is, <clears throat> pardon me, this species is very good at using as, bon or as uh, very good used as bonsai material. I apologize, it's not the beer, trust me. Um, just I'm all burned out from the Christmas shopping. Anyway. It's called that, the myrtle folia, is because the leaves are small, like myrtle, like the herb. And they remain that way. They don't get much bigger. They're a nice, tight little shrub, which is good, like a little boxwood. They are native to Australia. They are often sold, if you've seen them in Walmart during the summer months, you will see these um, big ball topiaries. They're like almost one ball and another ball topiary, and they're about three or four foot tall. It's the same plant. I didn't know that, and if I had known that, I may have bought one of those three-footers and air-layered the top section off the bottom section, and you would have got two, and you sell or trade or give away one, keep the bottom section with the thicker trunk, and shape that out. That's a great idea, especially during the, like, the later parts of the year after the summer, uh, the summer rush is over. They usually have them on clearance, and they usually don't take care of them, but the great thing about this guy here is that he doesn't care about neglect that much. And if he does get neglected, he'll show it. He'll dry up and drop branches, but he grows them right back. One of the things you can do is when you're shaping your tree, is this guy, you can hack off almost right down to here, and he'll start back budding on old wood. And the great thing is he doesn't actually throw off buds. He puts out full leaves, like, right away. It's a very fast and vigorous growing tree. Very hardy, too. I mean, if you lose a branch here or there, if they dry up, like I'm losing a couple because of the lack of humidity sometimes in the room, it doesn't matter. It's already got new branches growing way back here and way over here. And the more you prune it, the more branches it will have. In its native habitat, technically it's really a rainforest canopy type tree. Or in a landscaping version, which they do use it as landscaping, I believe in California and Florida, it can be used as a tall, bushy shrub. And it can be shaped like a boxwood. The only difference is boxwoods don't do flowers. These guys will do a nice little, like a creamy little puffy flower or powder puff. And then after that, if they're pollinated properly, it will give you a little magenta fruit, a little smaller than a dime. In Australia, you can eat them. They're common, commonly eaten in Australia. I'm sure they probably just taste like a red little sweet cherry of some sort. Um, I've never tried them, but when I do, I will eat it right on camera. Anyway. To take care of this guy, what you want to do is put it in bright light, just a nice sunny window where it gets a lot of light. You want to water it moderately. If you don't water it and you kind of let it dry out and let it dry for a long period of time, it will start to droop and it will drop branches. Don't worry. As I said before, it will grow them back. It's, like I said, if you look at it, it looks just like a little myrtle or like a little boxwood of some sort. Um... I got this at one of the local bonsai nurseries here in New Jersey, All Shapes Bonsai Nursery in Ringo's, and it is a, this is a, I forget how much I paid for it, it wasn't even that much, because I'm sure this was an air layer or a cutting of some sort, the way the branch is shaped, it looks like it was a cutting, but you can, oh, and you can take cuttings from this, and using the information from my last video, you can cut branches off and just stick them in moist soil and Ziploc baggie them, and these guys will grow. These are very fast-growing, rigorous trees, and they resemble an outdoor deciduous. So it kind of gives you that feel. Um, fertilizer, uh, to feed him, uh, just a balanced fertilizer. You don't have to go crazy searching out for something special. I would just give this guy, like, uh, Osmocote would be the best bet. Um, just a standard uh, three- or four-month release pellet formula. They don't really, I don't think they're that picky. I think it's the light and the watering that are crucial. Actually, in temperature, too. Temperature, you want to be careful. Now, I've heard them being tolerant for short periods of time down to 40 degrees. They will show a little suffering, but they won't drop. 
they prefer warmer temperatures, obviously well above that, you know, well into the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, um, and the humidity a little bit too. If you can't provide humidity and your house is dry, uh, just put a little uh, humidity tray underneath and you should be golden. Shapes that this thing can go in, as far as I'm aware, Eugenia Myrtle, Eugenia Myrtle Folias, or Brush Cherries, I'll call it a Brush Cherry, it's actually a little easier to get away from the Latin names. You can go Broom, uh, Informal Upright, Cascade, Slant, Windswept, I think it lends itself to every one of the ones that we went over. Um, it's pretty versatile, it's pretty flexible, um, the branches aren't too brittle when you bend them. You can wire them pretty good. As it gets older, the bark will crack and peel and almost resemble an older deciduous tree, so it kind of gives you that feel in a pot. Uh, other than that, I would really recommend if you get your hands on one of these, or if you go to Walmart and you get that topiary, let me know, and I'll, maybe I'll ha have you ship me one, ship one, one half of it, of course. Um, I would recommend you highly getting this and keeping it and growing it and trimming it and turning it into a bonsai specimen. And if you have an inkling for something easy, this is one of them. This is one of those beginner's type trees because it will not fail you. Even if you drop everything off of it, even if it just looks like it's dead, check the roots. If the roots look good, leave it alone, put it back in a sunny spot, and you'll watch it'll back bud on old wood and come right back. It's one of those tough old birds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just full of it today. Anyway. That's a tree you guys should get, and uh, the brush cherry, Eugenia myrtlefolia. And if you do see it, pick it up, or grow it from cuttings. You know, if you get one from a friend or whatever, or grow from seed. They do grow from seed. You can buy the seeds online, like eBay and Amazon, I believe. All right, guys. Well, that is it, and uh, you guys have a great night.